Thank you.
Monster match with you on this beautiful Valentine's Day. Marty, why did you play that song today? There must be thousands of love songs. Well, it's it's kind of a love song. All the monsters enjoying each other's company, you know, dancing, holding their evil in check. You played the wrong record, didn't you? Why are you doing this to me? Bah! This is just another Hallmark holiday cooked up to sell cards. <sighs> A valentine from my granddaughter. Can I have the envelope? To Mo, from your secret admirer. No! Oh, God, no. <clears throat> and this is for my huggy bug in honor of the special day. Special day? Oh, what have I forgotten now? Now, don't panic. Is it bacon day? No, that crazy talk. She's getting impatient. Take a stab at it. Happy... Valentine's Day. Oh, thank you, dear. Woohoo! I bet you have a lot of things planned, eh, Dad? Uh, kind of. Nobody makes a big deal out of Valentine's Day. Keep your pink up cut like can you want my company? Come on, wifey, let me know. Ah, 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 oh! Hey, Dad, why don't you give Mom her present? What a nice idea, son. It's, uh... Upstairs, on the second floor of our house. I'll just go get it. Ah! Papu, you gotta help me. I need a Valentine's gift for my wife. Perhaps this might be appropriate? Yes! You saved my life. How much? One hundred dollars. What? That's highway robbery. I won't pay it. Oh, I think you will. Forget it, pal. La da dee, la da da, la da dum, la da dee, la da dum, la da dum, la da dee. All right, but I'll never shop here again. If he discovers the discount supermarket next door, all is lost. Nickel off on expired baby food. Sold. How to start? Okay, okay. Hello. Welcome, everyone. This is Cupid and his arrow. Is the camera okay? Is everybody doing great? Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're trying. <laughs> okay. Uh, ask David if he can hear you. David, can you hear me? Can you see everything okay? I think that you have the open, the wide open camera. So our beautiful first musician is on camera right now. We can put faces. We can start anyways, right? Chapete, our director and producer, is preparing everything to make this event the best, the best ever. This is going to be a romantic event. Is, is, is it going to be romantic? I don't know. Hello, friends. Now, here we are. Welcome to Fat Cupid and his Arrow. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting us. And today is a very special day for everyone. This is St. Valentine's, but we don't give a shit about it. So that's why we are Fat Cupid and his Arrow. This is Toys of the Masses, and today we have an amazing streaming. We are going to have musicians, very, very cool musicians from different parts of the world here playing live in Toys of the Masses. We also have some comedians, so get ready to laugh. <laughs> I need to have people laughing here. I feel like, but <laughs> I like it. Thank you, Chapete, our director. You know how it is. Everything is COVID safe. So it's just a few people in Toys of the Masses. I'm going to tell you who we are. What is Toys of the Masses? This is an indie label and studio created by musicians and for musicians. We are working with Make Arnold World Foundation that is a not profit is a 501c3 is dedicated to support artists from all over the world and part of the donations that you are going to be doing today and during the next 14 days are going to be donated to the children's music fund that is a non-profit who help kids 
with different illness to heal through music therapy. This is going to be a very fun event, guys. Thank you for being here. There is people from all over the world watching us right now. So we want to read your comments. We want to know how are you doing? Who are you watching uh, with? Where are you from? Whatever you want, you can share it with us in all of our social media, Make Arnold World and uh, Toys of the Masses. And uh, I want to tell you where are we right now because Toys of the Masses is located in North Hollywood right around the corner from a very, very known liquor store. And I am here, Daquita. I didn't say who I am. So hello. Welcome. You can follow me too at, at Daquita. And I want to show you where are we located because I'm pretty sure you already saw the circus liquor in many, many movies. Let's see it. Do you have a number of a cab company? Which one? I don't know which one. What do you have out here? Oh, we have Valley Cam. Hand it over. <laughs> Give me the phone. <laughs> okay. Okay. Back to it. Come on! Alright, now uh get down on the ground. Face down. Come on! Oh no. You don't understand. This is an Alaya. And a what a it's like a totally important designer. And I will totally shoot you in the head. Get out! I'm pretty sure you watched this movie. Yes. yes. Today here is 4 p.m. right now for something. I don't know exactly the time. I'm actually not wearing my glasses, so I cannot read it from here. Yes, right behind that liquor store is where we are right now. So if you want to stop by and say hi. Hey, someone is, uh, some people is arriving right now. Yes, this is our parking lot live right now. You can see everything. This is Toys of the Masses, guy. You should check out all of our social media. And we are about to start with our first musician, the number one. My dear Valentines, she's Angela Mona. Woo! Welcome, beautiful. All yours. This is all yours and your music. So take me back, 
Angela Mona, beautiful. Thank you. Uh, what are these songs about? The first one is a cover. Yeah. Ca ca use the microphone. All please. right. Okay. Hey. We, we, yeah, it's difficult to see each yeah, other, right? right. <laughs> Can I take this off? Or we, yeah, 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 for okay. sure. We are taking our six feet of distance, as you can see. It was a beautiful Thank you. two songs. Thank you. Yeah, the, the first one was a cover of The Weeknd's Save Your Tears. 
it was and nicer coming from you. you. I love this yes. song. Um, think it would be perfect for Valentine's. Yeah, you know? totally. Just fuck it, you know. <laughs> yeah, very um, romantic. That was cool. Uh, and then the second one was an original. It's called uh, Nightmare. So mm -hmm. I'm still working on that. This is just the acoustic version. And I'm hyped about it because it's like one of my favorites. So. Yeah. And it's also a perfect for a signed Valentine's Nightmare. <laughs> yeah, it's more, it, there's, there's more to that. It's like, there's like a like deeper meaning to it. I don't know. I wanted to make it as dark as I could, but, um, you know, in a happy way. So I like to... I like to write my songs in a positive tune. Like there's there's a positive tone to it, but really it's it has a dark story to it. So most of my songs are like that. Um, I have one song out that was recently released called Love Flip. My brother and I worked on it. That's so nice. It, yeah, it was it was to like build awareness around what's going on in Armenia. So it's like it's like hip hop rap. That's um, cool, because right. your, your family is Armenian. You are yeah. born and raised in, in Los Angeles, in California, I, but yeah. you I are... Was, I was born and raised here uh, in a small city called Menifee. That's where I am right now. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm a proud Armenian, so um, with what's going on and you know the ignorance and the hatred and the war and all that, I thought, well, why not just release this? You know, it's, it's one of my first tracks. Uh, but the song that I did on the piano, I'm still working on that. Mm -hmm. and let's see where it happens, like where it goes. I don't know. <laughs> it's so like, beautiful. How can people find you in social media? Uh, you can find me at Moshi Shom. So it's my nickname. I have a lot of names. Moshi, that's cute. Moshi. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of names in the family. So like Moshi's my favorite. Moshi's my favorite one. And I thought, well, why not put that as the sure. name? Sure. Yeah, so it's cute. Yeah, you could find me on IG for that. Twitter's the same thing. Uh, I use TikTok, but like... That's to make videos, stuff. like dance? Yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> just, just whatever, you know, whatever the hell. Not really dancing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I don't know. My dancing is kind of different. It's not like the TikTok shit. Even better. It's good to have channels to connect with people. Yeah. You never know who's going to find you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, just doing what I do. I love playing piano and like that's it's like my first thing like whenever I'm writing a song I would either listen to beats or I would like play something on the piano mm -hmm. and it has to come naturally so I can't overthink it so I let that happen it's a flow and uh, I just write out whatever I feel that's so nice a nice composition process and do, do you play often with your brother Yeah, you know, my, my brother, he, he's a producer, mm -hmm. and uh, his, his artist name is SVG Maze. So cool. he has his own label, and they're a large dubstep EDM group. So he, he makes a lot of beats, a lot of um, that EDM stuff. And he, he produced most of Love Flip, the new song that I have out. Mm -hmm. So I heard it, and I'm like, hey, can you send it to me so like, I can vocalize over it? And, like, wow, it? yeah, so, it's a pretty good mix, yeah. like with the... Different why, styles. Yeah, yeah, why not? And you know, it's 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 rap. And I, you know, when I tell people, they're like, "Why do you do rap? Like, what the hell? Like, that has <laughs> nothing." To, yeah, I'm like, well, it's I enjoy that. You know, you can say whatever the hell you want and like yeah. rhyme however you want. I and like it has a you cool beat. Yeah. You know, you can. Why not? It's not stupid. It's like there's something to it. There's a meaning. It's nothing nonsense you know you, you actually understand there's a story to it yeah and that's that's what I like about it so um that's the kind of rap I like um and just experiment but I, I do jazz too and that's um, nice a lot of blues so. okay so we're gonna have you back next time with <laughs> a, a different style we want to know more about you All right, for sure right. Angela Mona, and as uh, you said something about no sense, and we are in St. Valentine's today, so I would like to know if you have a question that you really want to ask to Cupid. C Cupid? Yeah. Like if he, <laughs> if he were here, like in his big diapers and with his shitty arrows, what would you ask him? I would just ask, like, why is it so important for you? Like what? To to match persons. Yeah. Why is it so important? Like let let just happen. You know you can't you can't force that shit. But no. why if that this is happening because of <laughs> him? Why if if he doesn't That's do it, like nothing happened, and there is no love in the world? What can we do? 
without Honestly, him. I think we just gotta, well, you know. It's like Santa Claus. If he doesn't bring the gifts. Dude, Santa's my dad. <laughs> Santa's my dad. Like, I caught him. Santa ain't real. So who the so. fuck is Cupid? I'm so it's worried. with arrows. Like, that's all it is. He's like, Cupid. He's like a naked guy just drunk yeah, just throwing arrows. Yeah. Thinks he can make people fall in love when really it's it's more than that. It's more serious. Than yeah. That. So it's not just. So fuck Cupid. Fuck Cupid. Yes. All right. There is something else that you wanna tell to our audience. There. It's nice to know you all. Meet you all. Uh, I'm even though I'm starting out. I'm doing the best I can with all this. Uh, shout out to Armenia. I love you guys. Um, yes. Yeah, even though I was born and raised here, I'm a proud Armenian, I can say that. And with all that's happening and with all that's going on, um, I'd like to be one of the first voices for my people and, you know, spread awareness, cultural awareness. And yeah, just for everyone, you know, everyone who's silenced, who's outcasted and isn't heard a lot. Um, there are a lot of countries out there besides Armenia that's going through a lot, like Ethiopia, Nigeria, Lebanon, Iran, um, Greece, Cyprus. So shout, shout out to all of them, really everyone around the world. That's, yes. You got you to gotta have empathy, you know? Yeah, for sure. Thank you, Angela. It was you. awesome. And uh, well, uh, Toys of the Masses is created uh, by David. He is Armenian as well. He's going to be talking with us later and he he can continue with the message as yeah. well. Thank you, Angela. Thank you. It was beautiful. Uh, I want to say to everybody, if they like her, if it, do you like what is going on here, all of our art, you should share it with everyone you want. You can share it in your social media you just have to press the button from wherever you are watching us. Maybe you are watching us through Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube. You, I'm pretty sure that you have an arrow, but not the Cupid one. Another arrow that you can share it with your friends, your family, your loved ones. And you can share a very nice musical moment, right? And we are about to introduce a very special human. She's super funny. I have to tell you, it's not because she is my cousin, but she's one of the best comedians we have in Argentina from the LGBT community. She is Fiorella Aita, and she is going to be showing us her show in Comedy Central right now. Hope you like it. This is ready, Director Chapete. Yes, one second, Fiorella Aita in... But Cupid and his arrow, live in place of the masses. Ay, qué bueno. <laughs> eh, che, saben que volviendo en Google me di cuenta que está científicamente comprobado por un estudio de la Universidad de Massachusetts que hay un porcentaje muy alto de mujeres a las que les gusta el color azul y no son lesbianas. <laughs> qué sorpresa, ¿no? <laughs> A mí me gusta mucho el color azul y da la casualidad ¿no? que soy lesbiana <risa> y comediante, ¿no? comediante y lesbiana, todo lo que mis papás no querían. Eh. Por suerte ahora salí en la tele ¿eh? y ya dejaron de ignorarme. Hola mamá. <risa> sí, gracias. El primer chiste de mi vida se lo hice a mi papá. Pensó los nueve meses que era un varón. Salía sin la ecografía. <risa> Hago el gesto porque a mi papá no le gusta que diga la palabra pija. Le molesta mucho que diga la palabra pija. Odia con todo su alma que yo diga pija, ¿entendés? Y a mí me parece re loco porque hasta hace un tiempo quería que me coma una y ahora le molesta que diga la palabra. En la adolescencia me decía, primero el piercing, después el tatuaje y después las drogas. ¿Viste? Era la lista del infierno para él. Para mí eran cosas a cumplir. <risa> Igual le caí re de sorpresa con el lesbianismo, ¿no? No se le esperaba. <risa> sí, cuando, cuando salí del closet le dije a mi mamá, ella escuchó la palabra lesbiana y se imaginó una guerra, ¿viste? Tipo Star Wars, pero con choris de goma. 
mi papá una orgía, viste, llena de mujeres en tetas, drogas, alcohol y nada que ver. Ojalá fuera así. El mundo estaría lleno de lesbianas. En ese sentido yo soy más bien virgen, o sea, nunca fui a un hotel alojamiento. No conozco un telo, chicos. O sea, las tortas no usamos telos para tener sexo, porque enseguida nos mudamos juntas. A la segunda cita ya estamos eligiendo las cortinas para la casa, ¿viste? Es así, ¿no? Yo vivo con mi novia hace dos años, claramente desde que nos conocimos. Sí, y para algunos varones más que nada, que enseguida como dicen, uy, dos mujeres, uy, eh. o sea, nada que ver, es lo mismo, nada más que hay algunas parejas heterosexuales que tienen reglas de convivencia y nosotras convivimos con la regla. Convivimos... Convivimos con las reglas, porque hay tres reglas en casa, la mía, la de ella y una de oro, que es, en esta casa no se llora, porque llorar es de puto. ¿Y acá somos todas tortas? Estamos muy conectadas, ¿viste? Se nos alinea el periodo y estamos muy conectadas. Es como... Te va a venir. Y me da miedo hasta dónde va a llegar esa conexión, ¿entendés? Me imagino en un futuro como... Estamos por salir y te estás cagando. No sé, ¿viste? Estoy contenta porque mis papás ya la aceptan a mi novia. Eh, la quieren más que a mí, en realidad. Sí, yo creo que, o sea, ellos piensan que es mi pareja perfecta, en realidad, y yo creo que es porque es acompañante terapéutica. Es lo que necesitaba, ¿no? Mi mamá me dijo, yo quería ser abuela. Y es como, igual podés ser abuela, ¿o no? Si llegamos a pagar la inseminación, porque la torta es pobre, no sé por qué, ¿viste? El gay es rico siempre, ellos viajan por el mundo, pueden alquilar un vientre, nosotros no podemos ni alquilar un departamento. Yo creo que sería mucho más fácil si la iglesia nos revelara el secreto del Espíritu Santo. ¿Te imaginas toda la lesbiana criando palomas? <ríe> Re loco. Sí, hay mucha gente que quiere ser inclusiva y le sale para el orto, ¿vieron? <ríe> que dicen, ay, Fiore, yo también tengo un amigo gay, se llama Luis, ¿lo conoces? <ríe> sí, me... <ríe> yo no le digo nada, ¿eh? Si él quiere amar a un hombre, una mujer o un perro, mientras que lo haga en su intimidad... Después están los curiosos, ¿viste? Fiore, disculpa, te quiero hacer una pregunta. ¿Sí? ¿Qué? ¿Vos sos lesbiana ortodoxa? ¿Cómo es ser lesbiana ortodoxa? ¿Qué tengo dos rulos a los costados de la Cheiko? No sé, explícamelo. Y después están estos, estos, por lo general son católicos siempre, que, que dicen... Ya bastante que les permitimos amar a una persona del mismo sexo. Ahora hasta se pueden casar. Además quieren tener hijos. ¿Qué viene después? ¿Qué viene después? ¿Y qué me tenés que permitir vos, Ramón? Vos me viste entrar a tu ferretería gritando ¡Ah, ya vendés tornillo! ¡Ahora también querés vender tuerca! ¿Qué van a hacer todos ferreteros en este mundo? ¿Qué viene después? ¿Qué viene después? Gracias. Ay, se enojaba. Me gusta mucho Facebook, me parece recopado eh, que podemos hacer cosas ¿no? que nos gustaría hacer en la vida real, pero no da. Eh, como eliminar católicos, por ejemplo. Es un chiste igual, tampoco que ando eliminando católicos por la vida todavía. Can you hear me now? I want all of your comments. I want to know what's going on there. Some people is getting it because it's in Spanish. Some other are just reading the subtitles. I translated, so if there is a mistake, I'm sorry about this. I'm still learning, as you can see. And uh, I grew up with my cousin, so I know how all these situations were. And she is telling it in a very, very funny way. So you can follow her as well as Fiorella.aita in social media. 
so you can catch up a little bit more about all the Argentinian stand-up. Uh, and we have a contest. During this weekend, you were sending your serenade songs, maybe romantic, but we have a contest right now because of Valentine's Day. Even though we think, fuck Cupid, we want to spread love, you know? And you were sending your serenade songs, you were dedicating it to your loved ones, and we are going to be streaming them during this Uh, show today and you will have a QR code on the screen that you can scan it with your phone and it's going to take you directly to the Google Docs just to vote but wait so you can watch them all so then you can vote which one you like the most these votes are going to be up on our website during the next 14 days so donations and votation are going to be Uh, still going during the next 14 days so you can keep sharing these videos and you can keep donating and voting for the best serenade song and the winner trrr, i need i need effects you know and the winner mm, is gonna have his song published by toys of the masses yes i have to make my own effects yes So, uh, do you want to see the first one? Chapete, what do you, what are you, what do you see, say, my friend? Is it over or should it be postponed? Uh, it's up to you. Is we, we have in the schedule that we are going to watch the first singer, the first serenade. So, I hope you open your hearts and you can receive the love message. Hey, guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Well gonna play uh, another original for you this one's on uh, an EP that uh, me and Dave did together it's called Clark Chimp not the song EP anyway this is called Space in it Moments get wide Watching stars being born Millions of years after they've died Pretty soon I'll have to get back down to earth Struggle once again Through bloody loneliness, rebirth Open my eyes again for the first time Struggle for breath And shudder as the world reclaims me Remember, son.
Avísame. Y si Don, are you can you listening? He was Clark Chim, our first contestant for our Serenade love songs. I don't I think that serenades are already love songs, but okay, serenade love songs in sign Valentine. In fact, Cupid and his arrow from Toys of the Masses. Uh, right now, I want to remember you that you can donate to the child children's music found right now. Our Venmo is at Make Art Not War, and PayPal is Make Art Not War Foundation at gmail.com. These are a hundred percent tax de deductible in the United States so you can help these kids and you can also support the arts with Make Art Not War Foundation. And now I want to introduce our second beautiful musician of the day or the night, whatever you are watching us, maybe it's at night, and she is SMA. Welcome. Hi, thanks for having me. Yes, we want to listen all of the love that you have for us. Well, I got some of that. <coughs> we want it all. <laughs> I can give you some of that. Yes. So I'm going to play you four songs, and I'm going to dive right into it. Happy Valentine's Day, baby. Happy Valentine's, baby. Thanks for introducing me. I really appreciate it. Of course. We're going to talk after your four songs, okay? Sounds like a plan to me. Yeah. It never has been easy The earth is not just what I see I know I wish for world peace To believe we all can be free There is much tragedy The awareness is within me If I dig deeper Got a lot to learn in this neon dream. Oh, how freedom is something we long to discover. Slash your caged heart, let it bleed so tender, so huge. Thank you. 
trying that was called human life I wrote that um, years ago during the Ferguson riots I don't even know when that was you guys I think that was like five years ago I'm just getting myself situated on here seeing how I like the way everything is sounding how's everybody doing out there I know I can't see you in the ether but I can feel you out I know I'm not alone um, always very different playing to a room that you can't see. I'm going to try a different piano sound. Maybe I'll like this better. Some, I need something brighter. This next song is called Sacred Kind. I can hear Dave. I can hear you out there, man. <laughs> He's talking smack behind me. Dave! <laughs> All right.
We are a sacred kind. How's everybody doing out there? <laughs> How are you doing? Who needs a drink? We are having a great time. Thank you for these songs. I'm so excited that you created all these songs. Thank you. I, there, that one was, every time that one is sung, it's like a, it just seems to get bigger and bigger every time I sing it. It's, it goes through these, it's interesting. Yeah, and you are uh, so sensitive, and I would like to know the story about each of the songs. Well, I would, I'll share them with you. Please. Are we going to do two more? Yes. Okay. okay yeah. As much as you want. You want me to give you the quick rundown for the Sacred Kind real quick? For sure, yeah. Okay, so say, before I move into the next one, Sacred Kind was written like maybe four years ago, and it was, it was right when the Me Too movement was happening. Yes. You know, right when like, the awareness of like how much of uh, oppression was kind of going on and all the abuse and I was extremely you know triggered by it I think every woman was and I uh, yeah. was very angry and I came home and I sat at the piano and I wrote this song yes keep spreading the word mm -hmm. because yes. we are we're sacred and it's not just about um, people seeing us as sacred men seeing us as sacred it's about us acting as we are yes, sacred too. knowing that we are. Knowing that we are, exactly. Yes. Embodying that sacred vibe. Definitely. You know, and yes. being able to that do that. That was David, uh, <laughs> our Toys of the Muses. <laughs> He's adjusting something in sound in here. He's, yes, He came in yes. here right at the end of the song. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Do you uh, want to adjust something real quick? Yes, we're going to swap out a cable real quick. Okay. okay. We're going to swap out a cable, if I could tell. Yeah, he had that look that... We have to get better right now. Thank you, everyone, for uh, participate, for leaving your message in our live stream. I don't know, maybe that you are watching us through Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, whatever. Leave, uh, leave your love for us. We are so happy that you are here, and you definitely have to share this with all your people because we have to grow and we have to spread these talents. You know, we have... Today, beautiful musicians. I'm so proud because they are mostly women and in the music industry is mostly surrounded by guys and now everything is changing. And I'm so happy about that. And they are so cool and they <laughs> smell very good, I have to say too. <laughs> right, SMA? It's true, man. We smell good, I have to say. We do. Some, yeah. Some men smell great though. We can't, we can't. Some of them just smell fantastic. Yeah, it's like now that we. Now that we are more women everywhere, everything is more clean, smelled better. <laughs> yeah, it's, mm -hmm. we are making the change. <laughs> we, are, we are making the change. We're changing For the world sure. to make sure that everybody smells great. Are you ready great. to continue? Yes. So All this right. one's called Motivate. This is another original. Love it. Sorry. It's okay. It's a Mercury retrograde, you, you guys. I don't know if you're feeling it out there, but I have been feeling it. Stuff has just been happening. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Okay. So this song is called Motivate. I wrote it um, like three, three years ago, maybe? Yeah. So hopefully we'll be recording this soon. This is my favorite song to play. Okay. Y'all ready? Let's do this. What makes you feel like you could live forever? Is it in your dreams that pull you inward? Dive into the fear that slams you down now. Rise to the occasion, there's enough strength going round. Greatness is born. Shakers, call the creator, it's time. 
time it's it definitely is. it got, is it's I definitely got, time i got lost in there and got like lost my way but that song kind of does that like i um you know we we can feel it it's like your hair it's like <laughs> we get lost in your hair it's, and a, it's time to make it <laughs> it's a time to make it with the hair machine it's a hair machine yeah yes <laughs> It is. It's time to motivate. It's time to make our art because the world needs us. I think it's really it's really important for anybody who has the ability to have vision and see what the future can be to go ahead and step in line and in process of creating the future because it's always a blank slate. But especially right now, where systems are breaking down and everything is changing and everything's so uncertain, it's a really good time to be like, you know, what? I want to see the world to look like this, you know, and if and take the decisions. Yeah. And make it happen. And make it happen. And, yes, and definitely. If, as long as it's in alignment with good intention and it's sustainable for the person making it and good for them and good for the collective, anything is literally possible. And, do and make that. it with love, for sure. And make it, yeah, exactly. Every day, not just today because it's St. Valentine's, okay? Every, every day of the year <laughs> is St. <Saint> Valentine. <laughs> Girl, it's a Hallmark holiday, okay? But we're still celebrating it. Okay. For sure. Me and you both know that this is a card holiday. Yeah, but there is always a good excuse to celebrate yes. mostly love. Exactly. And that's why we're here. We're here to support each other in Circus Alley Studios. Yeah. And raising money and mm -hmm. to make art, not war. Yes. <laughs> love it. So um, I'll do one more. And this is, I'm going to do my best. I've been kind of getting lost in these songs. But this is a Neil Young cover. All right, we are ready. Who doesn't love Neil Young? I mean,
children sleeping We could dream this night away There's a full moon rising Let's go dancing in the light Still in love with you I want to see you dance again I'm still in love with you On this harvest moon When we were strangers Still in love with you I want to see you dance again I'm still in love with you On this harvest moon Cause I'm still in SMA, señoras y señores, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Thank you for sharing your art, not only your music, because we also have in Toys of the Masses, we have your paints here. They are so colorful and inspiring. Oh, thank you. I know, I'm like, hey, Dave. Uh... <laughs> yeah, hey, Dave, should we put my paint? Yeah, like, sure. for sure. Yeah, it looks very beautiful. I want to know more about this other side because I can see that you are a beautiful, mu a wonderful musician, but you also make all different kinds of art. I'm a visual artist as well as I am an audio artist, I guess you'd say, and I've been painting my entire life, and um, it's very uh, meditative and cathartic to work with color and paint and um it's been a great year for paint for me it was last year sure at home painting is yeah. the best you can do <laughs> and you know what people were buying people are buying my art so I'm like, that's even paint. better for sure how can we find you in social media or how can we get in touch with you so i am at on instagram i'm at sma e-s-e-m-a-e -E -E underscore music Mm -hmm. And then my art page from there is at E-S-E-M-A-E -E art. So you can find me on both. So again, S-M-A underscore music. And Instagram seems to be the best way to go. I'm on TikTok, but I still don't get it. So All right. Cool. Would you like to say something to Cupid? We know today he's very busy, but maybe you, you want a message for him. Hey, uh, Cupid. Um, Dear Cupid. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Dear Cupid, uh, you seem to have missed my house for the last 30-something years, but 
If next year you could, you know, plan ahead and uh, make sure you get those, uh, get Wait. me that man of mine, uh, that would be great. Are you my neighbor? Because maybe it's, it's something <laughs> around the area. You know, it could amazing. be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're Cupid yourself. Well, that was my That's secret, but come on, Chapete, the director is, is just telling all the truth, you know? I'm going to think about someone to, to bring to you. Okay, okay. I'll think about somebody to bring to you too, Cisco. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. Good deal. Good deal. Very nice to meet you. Nice Thanks to meet for you. Hosting. SMA in the house. We hope to have you here again sometime for sure. We are Toys of the Masses. This is Fat Cupid and his arrow. Remember that we are working with Make Arnold War Foundation and we are donating part of our fine funds to the Children's Music Fund and you can get in touch with Make Arnold War Foundation for sure to make your donations is uh, by Venmo at Make Arnold War. Super easy. You can do it right away through your phone and all the donations are tax, uh, are tax deductible. Deduct, did you, well, that word, you know, is, is a, it's a hard word for me, deductible. <laughs> All right, guys, we have so much, so much more music for you celebrating this fucking Valentine's Day. And we have a contest that some musicians send their serenade songs for us and they are participating to have their song released by Toys of the Masses, our label record and studio here in North Hollywood. So we're going to show you who are the next contestants. We have two. One is from Santa Fe and the other one is from Quilmes. There are little spots in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and we want to see them. You can vote for them. Vote, vote. There is a QR code. You just have to open your camera, your phone camera and your phone, and it's going to take you directly to the link to vote for them. We love our contestants. Como un loco en la cornisa que intenta saltar desde la torre más alta que hay en el lugar cuando un sueño se termina y uno empieza a despertar necesita irse lejos para volver sentido fue mi vida hasta que te vi iluminada en mil colores para la frente a mí quisiera saber de ti salir a caminar por las calles olvidadas por los días que vendrán mujer
Tá? Isso. Say, forgive me my mistakes, Jesus Christ. For being there, we are live right now. Thank you, Sergio. He's our director, producer, cameraman. He's doing absolutely everything. Chapete at Chapete, you can find him in social media as well. He's a good friend. He he edits. He did the subtitles as well for my uh, for Fiorella Ita's show. As you can see, we are live from Toys of the Masses in North Hollywood. We are preparing all the setup for our next musicians. This is gonna be a pretty nice show. I can already feel it. I hope that you like our Serenade love songs that we just show you. They are Argentinians. The last two musicians are Argentinians and they play these songs with all their, lo all their loves because today we all together say fuck Cupid and his arrow. Remember that you can donate to keep helping the Children's Music Foundation through Make Car Not War Foundation. These are two non-profits and all of our funds are always directed to really, really good causes because that's, that's the purpose of these shows, right? Like support the arts and help the people who more, like more need it. For sure, at my Carnot War Foundation is uh, the social media where you can find them. And uh, we're gonna keep playing. We're gonna keep showing art today in this beautiful Hollywood, North Hollywood studio. They are ready. Mm. Are you ready? Beautiful girls. Jessica Harper, are you ready? Yes, I like that <laughs> attitude. Welcome, girls. A little bit back. Yeah. She's mm -hmm. Eliza. She's going to be playing right next to 
Jessica Harper. Turn down the bed Turn down these voices Inside my head Lay down with me And tell me no lies Just hold me close And don't patronize Don't patronize Can we clap? Yeah! <laughs> we are just three more people in the studio. This is so beautiful, girls. Thank you. Thank you. It's so nice to be here. Very we romantic song. live in about a year now because of COVID. This is yeah, right. so great. Uh, but everything is safe here, as yeah. you can see. Uh, every of you brought your own microphones. Everybody is wearing a mask outside the studio. So we are great. Tell me about this song. Uh, Super beautiful. This is 
like one of the most famous love songs in like pop singer songwriter history. Um, it's by Bonnie Raitt, but there have been versions done by Prince, by Tank, um, I think the Backstreet Boys. Oh my version. God. Yeah, so naturally we had to do a version. Yeah, but yours is my favorite for sure. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's like now I feel that I'm in love. I don't know with, yeah. with anyone, it's just because of the song. <laughs> what are we gonna hear next? Um, the next one is going to be an original tune, and it's called Uh Oh. And it's basically, it's not about being in love. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just not. I like it even better. <laughs> And say hope feel prayers at night Trying to occupy the space in your bed You're the unlucky guy Who fall from my disguise Put your love on the line When you wake up out of light Oh, you don't want to be alone And I don't They work every time And I'm not the girl you should be after I'll break your heart and mine Will it be worth the try When I recite a cliche like You deserve better But you don't want to be alone And I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't Jessica Harper and Eliza, thank you. This was so beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Your voice is <laughs> so amazing. Thank, thank you. you. And this is a song that you wrote? Yeah. We're currently students at USC in the pop music program. So I'm there for songwriting and Eliza's in guitar. So nice. How long have you been playing together? 
since freshman year, we're juniors right now. That's cool. What that means? Two years? Um, so like three years. Three years. Yeah. Three years. All right. That's so cool. Uh, this is not a love song. You said the other one was romantic. I would like to know if you want to say something to Cupid or if you have a specific <laughs> question to make him. Um, or her. He's been doing knows? me dirty recently. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Can you go deep? In it? Um, well, this next song. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we want to know everything. <laughs> But this next song is. Um, You know, about the one that got away. I'm sure everybody can relate to that. Yeah, um, I know what are you talking about. I yeah. definitely know what are you talking about. <laughs> so I guess this will be my ode to Cupid. Nice. Thank you. Tell me that I'm not 
Love it, Thank amazing. You. I'm reading all the messages that we're receiving and they are saying, I love her voice, so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Where are you from originally? Um, I'm from Missouri and Eliza's from LA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of fit. Yeah. That we met at USC. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> In the, you say, what's the name of the career? Um, composer you said songwriter songwriter yeah it was yeah. easier than <laughs> i remember <laughs> so you have one more song for us yes we do it is another cover by aretha franklin mm. um, yeah send it out with love again this is say a little prayer all right Wake up before I put on my makeup. I say a little prayer for you. While combing my hair now and wondering what face to wear now, I say a little prayer for you. Forever and ever, you stay in my heart. Together, together, we're never apart. Oh, I, oh, I love you forever. Together is how it must be to live without you. Would only mean heartbreak for me. I run for the bus deep and while riding there, think of us, dear, and say a little prayer for you. Work. I just take time and all through my coffee break time. I say a little prayer for you. Forever and ever, you stay in my heart. Now we love you forever and ever. We never will part. Oh, I love you together. Ever is how it must be. Jessica Harper and Eliza in Toys of the Masses. Girls, amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much for having us. This has been a blast. Of course. We would love to have you again sometime. We're going to keep doing this because it's been so much fun, right? Yes. 
Yeah, everybody in social media is getting crazy about everything that is going on today. Fuck Cupid and his arrow, <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Anyways, we are getting a lot of love serenades from our contestants because we have a we have a, a challenge oh. right there. Yeah, and the winner is going to get the song uh, published by Toys of the Masses. So... Who knows? They are so excited. They, they've been sending these love songs during the week. Uh, they had to dedicate it to someone, right? That's the yeah. hard part. Why only one person? You can dedicate it to a lot, right? <laughs> I mean, you can have a list. <laughs> Maybe you have a lot of, of love to give. As you should. Yeah. yeah. This is how it has to be. Girls, thank you very much. Thank you. Super beautiful. Uh, and we are ready to watch our contestants from our this serenade love songs challenge you can vote you will see the qr code so go for it chapete director <laughs>
She's ready. Danny, you're alive in Toys of the Masses. <laughs> Tell them who you are. Well, I'm Danny Yora. And I think that's Dakita right behind you. <laughs> that is Dakita. Yes. Right this is Dave. Hi. That first song was, you know, Love Lost. Perfect for today. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Sado, how's, uh, everything sounds good. It's, I feel like guitar is really loud. I, is it just I me agree. in here? I agree. Okay. Uh, turn it down. The first one. Whatever they've said, you know. No, second one, sorry. Holy shit, no one. He's the boss. <laughs> whatever they say. <laughs> okay, this, whatever is... This next song, are cool. we so This next song yeah. is kind of about our generation versus the previous generation. It's about, like, fucking climate change and all the nihilism that we feel today. That's okay. it. Are we lost? Where was the map again? Left half the left, fill no back in there. Maybe aliens save our souls, who really knows? Where'd you go? Right down the rabbit hole. Hey now, hang tight, here we go. We're on our own with no known road. It's a flip flop reality. Are we all mad or it's just strange to me? Hold on, let me. 
He's the star today. He's always the star. So nice. Such a great voices we have here today. Seriously, right? Yeah, All Dave. Women. You she see? Songs. Yeah. What a Valentine's, what a Valentine's what Day. A Valentine's. I'm excited. Dave, thank you for making it happen. Thank you for being here. He's Mr. Toys of the Masses, I mean, people. We're going to talk with you a little bit more yeah. after. For sure. This dog is so happy here. Yeah, he loves it here. Yes. Oh, it's a second home. That's Aww, for sure. That's for sure. Yeah, I can it. see it. <laughs> come here, come here. There you go. Buddy. Yeah. All right. Does he yeah. sing with you? Yeah, he sings. He's going to sing this next one. Aww. Yeah, this is going to be the next one. Water? Does yeah, for her. Water? No, for Danny. For Danny. That yeah. Give it to the singer. <laughs> Crying, yeah, anyone, anyone needs water? I could use, um, I have a beer over there. It's Sunday. Let's All right. Oh, okay. Okay. Dave, 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 D
mostly on my own. Oh, I'll get by. I'll take the mountains, you take the sand. This is Danny and David in Toys of the Masses having a great time. And we are also supporting and helping, right? Yeah. Two foundations. We are with Make Art Not War Foundation and Children's Music Fund. Children's Fund. We're going to be donating a portion of the proceeds. Where we donating here today? Talk to the microphone, please, oh, I'm Dave. So sorry. So they can hear. Sato, is this okay? Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So, um, so yes. Uh, we you can repeat it again uh, in I case will. it. I will <laughs> yes, please. Um, so anyone donating today for this Valentine's when you're sitting at home eating that bucket of ice cream and loving life, um, the money's going to Children's Music Fund, which basically uh, does music therapy for children who are dealing with chronic illnesses. And it's been discovered through the years, through the decades, uh, particularly through this foundation. Um, the doctor is, this is a buddy of mine. His name is Rafi. I, Rafi. Uh, anyway, he's a great guy. Rafi. <laughs> Rafi's an amazing Rafi. one. No, he is. He's a wonderful guy. And, and he did all these studies for, you know, years, decades, whatever. And he did a Harvard paper. And basically, it's a proven fact. Music, believe it or not, heals. Not only, yeah, it heals. Yeah, it's not for sure. Only to you know dance and party and you know whatever. It actually all that, which is all healing as well. That is healing. Yeah. Itself, how how many and, times you were feeling like sad, weird, anxious, whatever, and you just play your favorite music, yeah. and everything changes. And everything changes. It's medicine. It's the best medicine. Danny, you could come in and talk. About yeah, for this. sure. Yeah. Danny, yeah. come on. You are the you just star your right heart now. Out. You gave us all this beautiful music. No. And no, 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 come, come, talk, talk. Yes, but share this moment yeah. with us. Yeah. I mean, right in front of your microphone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right there is it's your been spot. Awesome. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm back. No, you don't need headphones, do you? Do I? I don't know. So, yes, Ducky, go. And we yeah. are also working together with Make Carnot War Foundation, yes. that is a non profit 501c3 who helps and support art, artists, musicians yeah. around the world to to create yeah. more right it's amazing and yes Sir, sergio la palma 
Yeah, better known as Chapete. Better known as Chapete. Who is who, our director, producer, cameraman, yeah, he editor. He does everything. And this is the kind of thing we do now. Uh, fuck corporations. Fuck all that shit. This is what we do. Yeah. This is what we have. This is who we are. We bring it together. Um, you know, all of it is always for some sort of a good cause. Some sort of a, you know... It's all heart. So here yeah. we are, Valentine's Day. This and it's mostly heart. made with love. So it's totally yeah. related it's with Valentine. Yeah, it's all love. We I mean, are this, all this friends. Kid, we are La family. Palma, the biggest love I've seen in a long time. Definitely. From Argentina. Thank you, Argentina. Yeah, thank you, Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, well, both of, uh, a lot of Argentinians were part of this performance today. Yeah. And Armenians and Americans. We are a good mix. Yeah, I think it's... And we good. are helping... Who yeah, need who need it the most? Yeah. Do you want to say something about Toys of the Masses? Because we are here, we are in our house, our yeah. your this studio. Is this is it. Yeah, this is the studio. This is Toys of the Masses. Um, uh, I mean, what's there to say? It's an indie label that wants to support uh, music that basically matters. Hopefully, mm -hmm. and usually that comes from the the artists themselves. Just like how Danny just poured her heart out. That's all songs from her heart. And it's all inspired, and that's what we are, we want to support. That's what Toys and Masses is about. Um, and this is the, what is going on right now. It's being great. It's we fun. are having a it's wonderful fun. time. People in social media in their houses, they are having so much fun. To we are sharing art, music, love right. for <laughs> sure. So you know. we're gonna do this again. Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is gonna be kind of a. Who knows? Maybe a monthly thing. I mean, this is the world we're living in right now. We, all of us want to express ourselves. We want to play shows. We want to do what we do. We can't. Um, but I have the studio. We have this label. We have Sergio. We have Dakita. We have Danny. We have Emma. We have Sarah. We have Jessica. We have Jack. We have Sato. All these wonderful people here today. And, and we are taking all the procedures to make it safe. Yes. We've been yeah. COVID tested. At least some of us have. Yeah. Um, I had COVID. I'm over it. I'm, I'm <laughs> negative. So I have antibodies. And every time we are actually very close to one another, we don't make out with anybody. <laughs> we have masks on. Well, so. talk about yourself, yes. okay? Oh, talk <laughs> yeah. And I we also have Nikita a... met her uh, Valentine out there earlier. <laughs> we also have a very fun co contest that uh, yeah. our followers were sending us their serenades, their love songs to participate, to have their song released by Toys of the Masses. Yeah, yeah. Let's, so let's it's, it's a very good way to also keep sharing music from all yeah. over the world. And everybody can vote them just with a QR code that uh, is going to show up on the screen when the, when the video... We're going to have one more video right okay. now. Yeah, one more so, video. And yes. then Emma's going to play. Thank you, Emma, by the way. Emma Award, she's going to be... What's up? Chetai, you want to tell a little bit about her? Sure. Yeah, Chetai so, Levon. Chetai Levon, uh, we released um, a song she did with Gaspar from uh, La Mono, correct? Yes, mm -hmm. I remember all this. Yeah. It's not completely shot, you know. Um, and Chetai is awesome. Uh, she is a force of nature, uh, an energy that's unsurpassed. <laughs> yeah, and she's yeah. Argentinian and she lives in a, New York. Right, she's Argentinian, lives in New York, a uh, tattoo artist, I think. Yeah, as well. So right? talented. Yeah, so great history. Right, uh, her father. History story. Is uh, I, I guess. He's a uh, very known musician, very known David Levon. Right, in yeah. Argentina. So it's cool. It's this very strange mix that out of nowhere we have this. Argentinian, Buenos Aires, Los Angeles, Armenian, Argentinian, American. Yes. Fuck it, it's cool. Let's go with it. Right? That's the idea. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. And the good thing is that through internet we can, we can be all over the world at the yeah. same time, live sharing yeah. a great moment. Right. Yeah. So, I guess we're gonna have a Shatai song right now. Yes. And then maybe one or two more. I don't know. Yeah. And then Emma's gonna play us out with some. Of her music and some covers. Mm -hmm. so. And then we still have Lupe Loop uh, with her stand up oh, right. show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's very related to yeah. some Valentine's. I think so we perfect. still have a minute. Yeah. Yes. Lupe yeah. is going to say her piece as well. So there it is. Right? Yes. Okay. Let's go with <laughs> Shetai Levon. You can yeah. vote her just with a QR code in your phone on the screen. Are we ready, Mr. 
Mr. Chapete. Y 
I hope all these serenades are warming your heart and your soul. And now you are sending that message that you've been thinking about. You are finally saying what you wanted to say. Hell yeah. Because fuck Cupid and his horror, right? We are in Toys of the Masses and while Emma is getting ready to perform. I want you to keep donating to help the Children's Music Fund and make our Not War Foundation because we all together, we're gonna change this world and be better every day, for sure. We are in Toys of the Masses and now it, this is the last comedy piece of the night because here it's already night, yes? Even though it's six something in LA, it's already now dark outside and it's time to present her. This is an Argentinian actress, TV host, and comedian. She is Lupe Lupe, Lupe Cambiaso. And she has a very funny piece talking about love, relationships, and these family members who ask these weird questions. Super fun. Let's watch it. Chapete director. Hello, my name is Lupe Cambiaso. I am an Argentinian actress based in LA. This is my piece, The Truth. Hope you like it. The truth sometimes is uncomfortable, but you can't avoid it. Are you pregnant, sweetie? No, I just put in a few extra pounds due to this fucking quarantine like everybody else. Excuse me, madam. Madam? I just turned 30, for Christ's sakes. And I haven't had a boyfriend in years. I'm too young to be called that. If people ask you what about your boyfriend, or if you have one, and I say, no, they will get surprised and say, why not if you are so pretty? I'm sorry to let you down, darling, but in this city, it's almost impossible to find a decent guy. And also, who told you I want a boyfriend anyways? If you're an actress, you might have heard, have I seen you on TV? Lady, I told you I am an actress, not a famous one. And also, I'm a theater actress. So sorry to disappoint you again. It's uncomfortable when your mom asks you when are you going to have a kid. You would rather scream at her. I don't want a baby and I will never want one. But you just breathe and say, soon, mom, soon. It's more complicated when all of your friends are mothers now because these words will come up eventually. Lupe, you are next. Oh God. I am the next one abandoning that WhatsApp group, that's for sure. It's like people always want something from you. If you are single, they want you to be in a relationship. If you happen to have found a non-psychopath guy to date, they will want you to get married. And if you surrender to it and actually get married, even in Vegas, they will want you to have a kid. But careful, because if you have a baby, they will immediately want you to have a second one. Honestly, I'm tired of feeling uncomfortable. That's why I decided to twist the truth a little. When somebody asks me what about my sentimental life, I'll say, boyfriend? No, I got married with my high school sweetheart and we are absolutely happy. Yes, we live in an incredible house, and yes, we have a big pool. Kids? Of course! We don't have one, we don't have two, we have three kids. And in case you want more, there is another one on the way. Yes, I am a very famous actress. You probably seen me on Tarantino's films. <laughs> yes, I am his favorite actress, not Uma Thurman. Hi, girls! Uh, I'm going to send you the video of the Octoman. Oh my God, she's amazing, this woman. Eight kids at once? Isn't that a blessing? Oh, I almost forgot. I'm going to send you the 85 pictures of my little one that I took this morning. Eh? Yes, he sleeps all night long. Even now he's teething. 
Yeah, I'm so lucky. <laughs> How exhausting is to feel everybody's expectations, right? I guess I prefer an uncomfortable truth than a sympathetic draining bunch of bullshit. What about you? Hmm? And she is Emma, is getting ready to play just in a few seconds, minutes, I don't know, who knows, <laughs> but we are, we are arriving to the end of this beautiful live stream from Toys of the Masses. We are having such a great time celebrating love, celebrating Valentine's and fuck Cupid and his arrow. I love saying it. Yes, you too. I know. We were showing you some videos that are from a contest. Uh, these musicians send their love messages, their love songs with all their heart, and you can vote for them. These votes are gonna be during 14 days, so you can decide who's gonna be the winner, and the winner is gonna release that song with Toys of the Masses. This uh, label, indie label record, who is based in Los Angeles, California, in North Hollywood, and uh, as you can see, we have very, very talented musicians in the house, not only today, it is always like this, people from all over the world, and we are always with good causes, we are always trying to make this world a better place. We work together with Make Arnold World Foundation, that is a nonprofit who helps arts and musicians from all over the world to make their dreams come true, and all the donations are tax deductible in the United States, so if you are here, you can just donate with through Venmo, at Make Art Not War. Super, super easy. Uh, by PayPal, Make Art Not War Foundation at gmail.com. That's the email. You can donate from whenever, wherever you are through PayPal. So that's great. We are also part of these funds are going to be for the Children's Music Fund. And we are going to keep these donations open during 14 more days. So... Here we are. Today is Sunday, but you can still keep listening to our uh, musicians as well, our comedians, because this show is going to be... Maybe you are already watching it on YouTube because it's already tomorrow, but we are live right now <laughs> in Toys of the Masses, and Emma, Emma is about to start. I want to know if... Is she ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Can, can I have a little less reverb on my microphone? David? David is Slightly terrible. The All right. Terrible. Beautiful ladies, super talented in the house today. I'm so happy to be surrounded by these beautiful uh. women. Emma. I hope so. Is it good? Can I have slightly less reverb on my microphone? It feels like I'm in a church. Let me see Which is what the guys say in the other less reverb? part of the control. All right. Was in the law 
lost and found You came along to claim it I didn't know just what was wrong with me Your kiss helped me name it I'm no longer doubtful what I'm living for If I make you happy I don't know to do more Cause you make me feel You make me feel You make me feel Like a natural woman Oh, what you done to me Make me feel so good and I just want to be close to you. You make me feel so alive. Cause you make me feel. You make me feel. You make me feel like a natural woman. Yeah. You This is Emma in Toys of the Masses. You are from Sweden. Yeah, I think so. Last time I checked. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. How long have you been living here? Uh, I lived here. I lived here like about 20 years. Ah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, a long time. Yeah, so you like it here. Uh -huh. uh, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I like Sweden too, but yeah, I like it here sometimes. Yeah, Yeah, right? Yeah. Right now with the pandemic, I think it's everybody's kind of, it's, you know, it's, you miss home and stuff, but I love it here, yeah. And have you seen your whole life? Um, yeah, pretty much since I was talking, I just was singing. So sounds cheesy, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. you It's kind of in my family. Music is in my family. So we all kind of grew up singing. And oh, played. you sing together. Yeah. That's so cute. Yeah, so so yeah. nice. And what uh, what's the next song about? Uh, well, so... I decided to do two cover tunes in the beginning. I write my own music, but I wanted to try a couple of these songs that I grew up singing, actually yeah. at home. And another one I'm singing here. The first one I sang is called, uh, what is this title? Jesus. Dangerous Woman was no, dangerous better than the original, no, I have to say. Natural Woman. Natural Woman. <laughs> dangerous Woman, yeah. That's, it um, the other one, it's Time After Time by Cindy Lauper. And it's one of those songs I remember hearing as a kid. And it's a guitar-based uh, song, but I... Um, I decided to um, do a little piano version of it. So. Beautiful. Thank you. I'm Let's see, little, Emma. I'm going to have a little magical water here. Yeah. Yay. We are, happy we, Valentine's, everyone. Happy Valentine's. We were saying that we are from all over the world, and here we have Sweden in the house right now. We have Sweden in the house. Yeah. Swedish is Sverige. We have Sverige in All right, see if I remember this song. Okay. <laughs>
the second hand on time If you're lost and you're looking you will find me time after time If you fall I will catch you I'll be waiting time after time If you're lost I will look and you will find Fall, I will catch you. I will be waiting time after time, time after time, time after time, time after time, time after time. This is Emma in Toys of the Masses. And we know that you're about to release a song with the with Toys of the Masses. Uh, yeah, I am. Yeah, talk about that? Oh, sure. So exciting. You knew that already, didn't you? Um, you know yeah, what? I just want to say, you're, uh, you're doing something with the, something that makes a lot of noise in the microphone. I heard it through the whole piano song. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, and that's okay. Okay, we are, we're having sound issues right yeah, now. Yeah, it's super loud. Yeah, because it's a, yeah. But anyway, so, the can you talk to a microphone so everybody can sure. hear? Yes. Um, so I have a song called This Feeling that I wrote with my old band called mm -hmm. Crystal Twin. And it's a um, um, love song that I wrote and it's uh, with a co-writer with me. Um, called, um, Sorry, we are live in Toys of the Masses. So we are organizing all the sign sound situation right now. Sorry, Emma. It's okay. Um, so the feel, yeah, this feeling. It was actually a TV show called Shameless. Uh, last. Yeah, week? that's yeah. it. Very okay. cool TV show. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. So, yeah, it's kind of like a. Yeah. So that I wrote it a few years ago with a, uh, another bandmate of mine, and, and it just ended up in the TV show. Yeah. So. That's cool. And now you're gonna release it with Toys of the Masses. Yes. Super cool. And what are you gonna play right now? That song. This feeling. Oh, that's exciting! Hopefully there was no no noises in the back. Do you wanna try? Do you wanna try the sound? Yeah, it's every, yeah, it's just I hear everything, so Oh okay. I hear everything. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Emma. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah? Okay. Give me a second. Just a little tune where. Of course, we're live, as you can see. And fuck Cupid and his arrow. That's all I wanted to say. It is. Can you give me this song? It is, is a very nice day. It's over there. We are see. we are arriving to the end of this show. It was a beautiful, almost three hours that we shared together online. Maybe you just tune in for our magical end. Emma is getting ready to play the song that she's gonna release with Toys of the Masses. And we are almost there. That it's all over It's all over now We found one another The search has been called All of my life, babe I've been working so hard Trying to tear it up Trying to not fall apart But all this feeling All this feeling 
kind of thing before I never really listened Feelings in Saint Valentine's yeah, with right. Emma. Oh, I love what you see. My so name. beautiful. Oh, thank you. I want to know if you want to say something to Cupid because you know, maybe you have a question, something to complain about, whatever you feel like. I have like. a lot to complain about. <laughs> well, imagine um, that the camera is Cupid and here he is with with his diapers and his arrows. Packing <laughs> no, arrows. Say, I don't, um, whatever it come first, whatever all comes these first. feelings. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I can say something in Swedish. For sure, that would be awesome. Yeah. I um, think he's like Santa. He understands all the languages. Oh, yeah? Oh, he's like, yeah. oh, really? Is that how it is? Like Santa? Uh, I think um, so. Um, ja, tycker det är väldigt fint att vara här idag och få spela musik med alla och um, saknat ditt land väldigt mycket just nu så det är skönt att kunna sitta här och spela hoppas att min familj i Sverige ser detta och ska faktiskt spela en till låt nu. All right, that right? sounded beautiful. I don't know what you said but you and Cupid only know right um, now. Yeah, I'm gonna actually do one more song. How I would many love songs to. do I have? Have one more? Yes, one more and we are gonna This is gonna be our last song of the night. So I want to celebrate this. I want to say thank you to everyone who's been here with us today. This was like almost a three, three hours live stream. Amazing, celebrating love, saying fuck Cupid and his arrow. We are donating, we are helping uh, Merrick Arnold World Foundation and Children's Music Fund. So tune in, you keep donating, keep voting as well for our best serenade. You already know you can find Make Arnold World Foundation online, in social media. You can also find Toys of the Masses with this beautiful song that Emma just uh, made for us. She's gonna release it with uh, the label and it's gonna be amazing. I'm so excited for this Aww. last song of the day. Thank you everyone for being there. I am Dakita, she's Emma. Thank you Chapete, thank you David. Thank you all the beautiful musicians and comedians who's been here today with us celebrating and let's keep spreading love yeah right the song Emma? is a it's a the new song is uh, this song is called obsessed with you so i thought i picked all the love songs 
Love it. That I wrote that is all about obsession, love, and craziness on this crazy day. Yes. Thank you for sharing your talent with us, Emma. Thank you. So beautiful. You're an angel. Oh, you're an angel too. <laughs> Obsessed with you, I will never break through. I'm obsessed with you, I'm not good with the truth. It's my tragedy. You may never have eyes for me. I'm obsessed with you. I'm not good with the truth I'm obsessed with you I will never break through It's my tragedy You may never have eyes for me It's my lesson learned And this fire will always burn But maybe this is love Love. Maybe this is love Maybe Could this be love Maybe this is love Obsessed with you Aww. too, Emma. Amazing. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. We are in Toys of the Masses. This is the end of this beautiful streaming full of love, passion, talent, women, incredible women here representing from all over the world. We are supporting, we are having fun, and we are celebrating this Valentine and fuck Cupid and his arrow. Thank you <laughs> all for being here, for watching us, for sharing, for donate, for voting, for everything. Let's keep spreading love. Thank you everyone who made it happen. I am Daquita and I love you all. Happy Valentine's. Fuck you, yeah. Cupido. Hurrah.